Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 7 of this Let's Play European Universalis 4. This is Saga of the Titans. I am joined here by Igel. Hello. Who is playing as? Sweden. And Bussy. Hello. Playing as? Denmark. And I myself am the Norse Norway. Right, I'm pausing. Let's get on with Ruffle Stomping Muscovy. I just took uh, tech 6, military tech. Nice. Uh, we we'll take Ostrogov, uh, Ostrov as well. Uh, yeah, I can't reach that yet. Yeah, okay. We're taking the stuff no, that I, I took. Mm. I still have Galich though, it's a castle. Ha! Ah. I'm coming round to take their, what they've taken. Shall I, if you haven't taken it by the time I get there, I can take over the sea. Oh no, I'll go for Moscow. I'll take Moscovy. Moscow. Yeah, I'm just holding that right now. Yep, cool. And catch them in Volta. Nice. And you massively out match their commander. They have won yeah. military tactics now. Yep. Oh man, I want my queen to take over. She's a 563. Minus 555. Five, five. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I just Did got back wiped just... in Orland. Oops. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Again. 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 Oh wait, I can s this one down. So now we have to figure out what we're going to take. Well, take Kongori because that makes the Moscovy Navy redundant. True. Yeah. Norway, why are you spying on me? I'm oh. Not. And the Dante separatists just fired. Oh well. I got the um, Norway spy event. I thought you had to have a spy network for that to fire. No, apparently not. Currently okay. raising relations with Poland and England and that's it. One free diplomat. Gain corruption or lose stability. I'm going to Suzdal. Damn it, Suzdal. <laughs> I was just about to say that myself. <laughs> I might join you in Sulzdale. I'm annoyed I lost that army. That was 10,000 men. I had to take out a loan for that. I've got five. Oh, I'm still... Why am I still losing money? I have no army to pay for. Oh, missionaries. And fleet. Yeah, okay. Are you actually converting? Yeah. Nice. Um, missionary progress, 0.4%. Oh, I'm not anymore. Months. No, I'll cancel that. It was 1,111 months. Oh, thanks, Denmark. Didn't really mm -hmm. need to do that. I have actually enough money, but thanks. <laughs> I'll take it. I can't give it to you. I have low oh, wait, I could pay a loan off. Uh, I'll wait until the end of the war. No, you're not sieging anymore, I shall. Uh, sieging I, uh, Moscow. I haven't been since we since I got there. Um, I can't can't attack them yet. Damn it! I don't want to lose Danzig. Five months. Five months until it breaks. We have to look at a peace deal. Yep, do it. Um, Mordred, are you fine with the three provinces in the north? That would be perfect. Um, how's your aggressive, aggressive expansion, Nigel? Mine? Yeah. Uh, I have zero. Yeah, oh, me too. I've got 30, so... Um, and I oh, actually like Ladoga, Tikvin, Torzok, Ryzev if we can get it, Bella Zero, and a fortress ideally, Behetzek. That can do. Uh, nope, not yet. It's a little bit more war score. 
That's probably because we've just lost a battle. Yeah. Ah, they get the fort advantage, don't they? Yeah. So that's a minus two for you, probably. Yeah. Minus one. I'm not going to win that. If we take Moscow, we can uh, piss them out. They're on low enthusiasm because you're not fighting right now. Now try. Yeah. I can't yet. About now. <laughs> How many percent do we need? How about now? How about now? How about now? <laughs> um, we need. I think. I think we need just need Moscow. Okay, but we're going to lose quite a lot getting it. Yeah, it will take a while. If I can bring all of my armies together and merge them, I might be able to do something. I'm gonna have to do something about my rebels. Oh, that's cool as well. My prince, the rumor is spreading of Poland is preparing to attack the Teutonic Order in a war of aggression. There is not much time if we wish to interfere. The loose lips personality of August the second is likely why this is common knowledge. Yeah, that's quite cool. I like that. That is cool. Wait, how many advisors did I have? I had three advisors. Oh no wonder I was losing money. Right, yeah, that's why we had the coup, because I bought an advisor stupidly. Like one of the minister guys. Huh, okay. That makes sense. We're actually not going to get that much money out of this war. That's fine. That's a shame. 18 ducats. <laughs> I'd rather have the land. Yeah, likewise. These are all good provinces as well. Wait until he's finished fighting here then. That oh, nice. Yeah. Five war school. Moscow is almost sieged. Oh, that would really help. Yeah. Now we're cool. getting called for a... Call for peace. Yep. And let us just wait for Moscow. Then we'll just... If we have any spare war score, use it to get them to release provinces or drop vassals or something. Ah, uh, we don't. <laughs> okay. I've, I've got the... Uh, the 18 ducats is two ticks of money and then I've got 100% war score, so... on. But they will be shattered. Yes. Because we're taking all of their strong provinces. Yes. Anything eastern on their side. And a large part of their trade node as well. Or even western. <laughs> I always get that mixed up for Russia. Warriors do not read books. With the war taking focus of every capable and productive person in the nation, there is no less time for frivolous activities of musicians and poets. Oh, new stability. Damn it. Gain stability. Trust thy neighbour. <laughs> I think you just gave me your stability. <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. Oh, Denmark has rebels. And they're yeah, about to take Sjelland. Yeah, that's the Danzig rebels, so... Okay. Pause. Yeah, 99, we're not going to get much yeah. better. This is good. Go. Boom. That's a lot of land. Muscovy will cede. Below zero, Ryzev, Torzok, Ladoga, Tikvin, and Bertesk to Sweden. Muscovy will cede Kolmogori, Kargopol, and Shenkursk to Norway. Muscovy will be forced to give Denmark 10% of their income. This will last for 10 years. They will pay 18 ducats to Denmark and its allies. Norway will get one ducat. Peace cost Norway 45. 
cost Sweden 198 and Denmark apparently nothing. As a defender, Denmark suffers zero aggressive expansion, Norway 8, Sweden 37. Yeah. Denmark owes us 10 favours. Damn right. 33 favours. I probably have maxed my favours with Denmark. Yeah, I have 100 favours. Uh, I've only had 48. Sweden. Went around with Norway. I'm going to take care of my rebels now. Yeah, I think that's allowed. <laughs> 13 with Sweden. Whoops. Uh, what are you not telling me? There you go. Uh, 47 with Denmark. My ship is apparently taking attrition. Why? Oh, because you've been at sea for ages. Fair enough! You have been at sea for a while. Don't lose, don't lose. Good. At least you don't have to go over there and grab a castle. I might have rebel problems soon in the Russian area we just took. Yeah, same here. I'll station my army over there if I, I'm uh, done with the rebels. Cool. Morale of, morale of navies. Rubbish. Um. I have a, a claim on you, Mordred. You have a province that I want. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Uh, Kargopol. Can't have it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So that war went a lot better than I originally thought it would. It's because we trapped half of their army. Yeah, we got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Every, oh, yeah everything not, went better than I expected. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to kick 19k people out. I totally could, but not today. With Feeling what? a bit tired. <laughs> there we go, rebels, 14,000. Yeah, that was futile. <laughs> <laughs> no manpower and no money. 18th of August. Five months and then I can get rid of the stinking aristocratic coup thing. Meanwhile, institutions, how are they spreading? Yeah, roughly 20% everywhere. More than Sweden, less than Denmark. Hey, I've got Shalom back. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you've now got rebels in Novgorod. <laughs> yep. But we can take them. We've got the um, defensive bonus. Price. Yes, good point. And you've got my excellent general when he gets there. Yeah. He just doesn't have any men to command. Ah, some. No, oh, another one down. You need a fort over there. I need money. <laughs> I can't afford forts, I've deleted them all. I really need this aristocratic coup to end, that's what I need, because it's costing me a stupid amount. Next month. And then I'm back in the game. As oh, wow. far as Norway oh, ever yeah. is. I might have had a base 37 aggressive expansion, but my AE with Moscovy is 70, and with Tver <laughs> it's 76. Ouch. Um. Boom. Uh, where is it? Decision. What? No. Fewer rebel armies than one. Fewer. Oh! Can you come to all yep. the apps? <laughs> yeah, I need Soroka and Cargo Pole back. And then I can get rid of the stinking aristocratic coup. Yep. Soon. Thank Soon. you. Uh, 
I'll take... Uh, I do. <laughs> I'll go for Soroka. Okay, I'll stay in Kagopol then. It's a nice place to visit this time of year. You mean in the middle of winter? <laughs> November. <laughs> <laughs> if you like skiing or snowball fights and that type of thing. <laughs> Ice sailing. Yeah, we can arrange that on the White Sea, aptly named. <laughs> Gonna get attacked by polar bears. They're my bear cavalry, they're pets. <laughs> All yours. Cartel nobility. Ha! The king is back in control. And I lose a bunch of stability. You despot, you. Can I give you a Novgorod, uh, I shall? Um, can you wait a, f a little bit? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, of course, um, you're, you're still coring the rest. Yeah, my overextension is 66, and I don't know what it will do. Uh, 18. That's 18 development, isn't it? Uh, no, 18 overextension. At least for me it is. So probably. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are for that. I think it's the same, isn't it? Oh, how is... The Renaissance don't, doing? Don't send that army too far, because... I'm oh. going to need its help when the Moscovite separatists pop up in 10%'s time. Yeah, I'll put them in Novgorod. Oh yeah, my East Frisian separatists are not going to pop up, I think. It's 1.5... Is it percent? Rest? Yeah, I think you'll be okay over there. 1.4 now, so... Fine. Modred, are you still alive? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> you guys are talking away, so... Didn't really have anything to add. Right, anything to do? <laughs> well, I have things to do. I'm just messing around with my estates, making them pay for the uh, problems they've caused me. Basically stripping them of any rights. Yeah, I should probably make mine pay, because I need the money. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the clergy to get three more loyalty, and then I can demand administrative support. It's, I don't have any um, merchant guilds in my estates. Uh, if you're below a certain development, I think, then you don't. My development's 225. Yeah, you should do. I don't know why you don't, then. It's weird. Ah, let's, yeah, make a, let's make a claim on Friesland. Oh, I already have a claim, don't I? Not going to happen with Austria. My awesome general died. No. Oh. Help <laughs> is lost. Okay, I'm actually making a reasonable amount of money now. Good. One ducat a month. 2.36 which for Norway is a small fortune I have four loans I need to repay <laughs> oh the clergy want more land it might be worth me debasing my currency actually hmm. clergy land yes all right I'll give you some What's pointless? Something up north. 2.5, you're at 7.3. That's not quite enough. 3.3, however, is. There you go. New Emperor. And with that, we should end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then please do consider subscribing as well. That's a goodbye from Igel. Goodbye. And from Bussy. Goodbye. And from me. We'll catch you next time.
Goodbye.